Hey everybody, my name is Kyle Grossmiller. I am a solutions architect with Pure Storage, and today we're going to be talking about one of our awesome data protection partners, Veeam, and how we integrate with Veeam and all of the goodness that you can get from uh, downloading our free integration with them. Um, before I get into that, though, I wanted to quickly mention, you know, why have we seen so much success in this use case at Pure Storage? And, and what it comes down to is just because your data is backed up does not necessarily mean it's protected. And, and so what do I mean by that? So if I've got a DBA, or if I'm a DBA, and I accidentally delete a three terabyte production database, if I have to restore that database, and my appliance that it's stored on does it very slowly, uh, it can take a lot of time to re restore completely. Um, we had one, uh, not at the time customer, but now customer, who accidentally had that exact scenario happen to them. They deleted a two terabyte database by mistake, uh, it took 36 hours to completely restore it uh, because they were using a purpose-built backup appliance that was on mechanical spinning disks, and they had to go back a little ways. So, you know, when you think about a, a purpose-built backup appliance with deduplicated data across multiple spinning disks, it can take some time to reconstitute that data and bring it back. So for them, that translated to one and a half business days lost where that database was not serving I.O. Uh, another customer had an even worse problem happen. They got hit with ransomware and it took them seven days to come back up to production, right? So that was a $20,000 a parcel penalty for missed SLAs. Um, again, right, this is a major problem that significantly impacts your business. Uh, and I think that's what IT departments are measured on today, right? You don't hear about the IT department that quickly recovered from the malware attack. You hear about the one who did not, right? So being able to quickly and easily restore uh, these kinds of workloads it is really the crux of the problem and the problem that we've set out to solve. Um, something else I think that's really unique about backup data is, you know, it used to be disk to disk to tape, right? And when it would get on tape, you would ship it off to a mountain somewhere in a vault and you'd never see it again. Um, these days though, with analytics, things like Splunk and other, you know, utilities like that, uh, you're kind of in, we're kind of in a neat, unique position with backup data because that's one of those things that touches everything within the data center. So what better source of doing analytic data or you know, GDPR and privacy data uh, do you have than your backup data? Um, in addition to that, right, DBAs want to be able to do tests and dev against the most recent snapshots of that backup data that they have available. Right? They don't want a database snapshot from last week. They want one from an hour ago that they can do tests against so that then they can roll it into production. So if you can just make that backup data available for test dev work, um, your, your DBAs are going to be a lot more effective in, in rolling out changes to your environment. And, and really, right, that's, uh, that's what we're able to unlock with our unique partnership with Veeam. Um, so I mentioned disk to disk to tape, right, which is what has been the paradigm for backup uh, for quite a while. Uh, well, the way that we've rethought this at Pure Storage is flash to flash to cloud. Um, obviously, this is a much larger, longer presentation than what I have time to, to do today, because uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff here. I'm going to focus today on step one, you know, which is flash array-driven backup. That is definitely your first line of defense. Um, but you know, just just so you know, Pure does have uh, other products out there that are specifically designed to help with the rapid restore use case. Flashblade is our unstructured product. Supports NFS, SMB, S3. Um, and what's cool about that is it's not a purpose-built backup appliance. You can run all your backup data to that, and in addition to that, also do things like CAFE, TensorFlow, AI workloads, deep learning workloads. So you're able to really consolidate down those traditional silos in the data center, right? It used to be you had a backup data center, or excuse me, a backup silo, perhaps a data lake silo, perhaps something else. On FlashBlade, you're able to consolidate all of those unstructured workloads down. And then the last piece, right, is that long-term retention. Being able to get access to that backup data at a, or at a later stage via sending it to the cloud. Um, and that's what our object engine product is all about. Again, I don't have time to get into that today, but um, this is our overarching rapid restore use case. So talking about our Pure and Veeam integration, right? Um, this is what's required to use it, super easy. Uh, Purity 4.8 is over a year old. I, I hope most of our customers are above that version now. No additional licenses are required. Uh, we support pure storage protection groups. We support pure storage active cluster, which is our synchronous replication solution. And it's just a simple executable you download from Veeam's website. Very easy to install within their console. So what it gives you, right, is that ability to 
manage and orchestrate your backups from within Veeam's console. Our stated goal is that we don't want you to have to go to Pure Storage's GUI, because really that's just another GUI you have to go into and manage, right? So being able to manage and create and set up your snapshots uh, from within Veeam's console is, is a really big value add that a lot of our customers see. Um, the other really key component of our integration is that out of the box, Veeam will use a VMware-based snapshot for backup jobs. Right, so it'll open up a VMware-based snapshot, it will ingest that backup data, and then it will close that snapshot commit. That's a problem for really highly transactional databases, right? Because all of those writes that are being written to, say, a database, that while that VMware-based snapshot is open, need to be removed when you go to commit that snapshot. Um, and that can lead to high I.O. and even potentially VMware st or VM stun you know, at the end of that backup job commit. What we do with our snapshot integration with Veeam is instead we take a VM, we still take a VMware-based snapshot, but only briefly, and that's to gain that application consistency that you need, right, for your Microsoft applications or Oracle. Um, from there, we take that pure storage data store snapshot, copy that snapshot to a volume, and then ingest the backup data from there completely transparently to the end user. And then, of course, we delete it at the end as well. So again, just a lot more efficient. And I've got an example of why that's important that I'll show you in a couple of slides. So I mentioned too, right, so it's, it's important to be able to use snapshot-only jobs and be able to manage it outside of pure storage. And this is just one example of what we see customers doing today, right? Basically taking a, a pure storage-based snapshot every hour um, and then doing a backup and a snap at the, end, at the start of the day or maybe the end of the day. And what's important about that, right, is that pure storage data store snapshots are a great tool to recover something immediately from. But that is in and of itself certainly not a backup strategy. What I mean by that is you want that backup data to go somewhere else, right? You do not want it to be just on that one array. Very, very important that it goes to a different location in your data center because what if, some, what if that array burns down, right? You need to be able to recover it, to it, recover it from somewhere else. Um, and to me, this is the other really important part about our partnership with Veeam. Right? Veeam gives you that granular ability to recover individual application items within your VMFS data stores. Right? So being able to, if your CEO accidentally deletes an email, Veeam has the capability of going into Exchange and restoring that individual email that he, delete, that he or she deleted. Right? So getting that granular recoverability of individual VMs, files within VMs, or Microsoft and Oracle applications using Veeam is hugely important right, from a VMFS data store. You can still do it without it, but it's a lot more cumbersome to copy a snapshot to a volume, attach that volume to a host, re-signature that volume in vCenter, bring in that VM, and then move over the files you need. Right? That's a seven-step process, whereas Veeam's Explorer enables you to do it once right, and very easily. Um, I mentioned earlier I wanted to show an example of what a backup job looks like without our integration. Uh, this is a 2.4 terabyte, yeah, 2.1 terabyte, excuse me, uh, SQL VM. So it's got two VMDKs. Veeam is able to ingest those two VMDKs in parallel. You can see it was open, uh, or excuse me, the job took about an hour and 36 minutes, right? Without our integration with them, uh, that VMware-based snapshot was open for that entire time. And then when it came time for that snap VMware-based snapshot to be closed and deleted, it was open for 28 seconds, right? That 28 seconds is when you're vulnerable to high I.O., right, due to all the writes that may have occurred on that SQL VM while it was open. Now, when we compare that to our backup job, it completed in about an hour, so it's a lot faster, 36 minutes faster. So, you know, that's, <laughs> that's a huge advantage right there. But in addition to that, because we take that VMware-based snapshot at the beginning, it's only open for 11 seconds, and there's a lot less writes that have occurred to it uh, during that much smaller window. Um, and I should mention too, it does work, this integration works with fiber channel and iSCSI workloads. RA actually supports both fiber channel and iSCSI in parallel. So a common use case we've seen emerge from a lot of our customers is say using fiber channel for my production workloads, and then I dedicate those iSCSI ports just for backup traffic. So that way you're actually able to segregate production and backup traffic from one another and be able to a lot more easily do that. Um, and of course, the whole purpose of this use case is rapid restore. I didn't say rapid backup, it's rapid restore. So this was an example database that we took. It was uh, four VMDKs, 4.7 terabytes in total. So say a ransomware attack hit it. 
And now Veeam is able to restore you know, all four of those VMDKs in parallel. This was from our FlashBlade unstructured data products. This was on a, on a NFS data store. Right, so we went from having no database to having this thing back up and running in 90 minutes, which is a very, very, very fast restore for those who have <laughs> had to go through this, right? Um, again, not perfect, but you know, 90 minutes is better than the earlier example I gave, which was one and a half days. <laughs> Um, the last point I have is that we did recently come out with a new integration enhancement. Uh, again, this is freely available to our customers. So if I, if I have two pure, pure storage arrays that are paired with asynchronous replication, a production site and say a DR site, what we're able to do now is that as I replicate protection group snapshots from production to DR, now we automatically copy those snapshots into a volume on the DR side. So that's one less step that you have to do in an outage. But perhaps more importantly, it lets you be able to spin up test dev instances of, say, a database workload and connect that up to a host using something like Veeam Data Labs. Um, so again, just, just another neat, I think, uh, and we've also assigned kind of a unique naming convention to it as well, so you know where that data store came from. I am out of time. Uh, I don't have time to answer questions up here, but if you guys want to grab me, I'll be around for the next few minutes. Thank you so much.